it may be surprising to some that the um, all the anticonvulsants, opioids, uh, antidepressants, uh, topical medications, uh, the, to our, the best available studies that we have, uh, based upon those, it is more likely that a given person will get 50% pain relief from an opioid medication than any of the other ones. However, opioid receptors are ubiquitous all over the place in our nervous system, from our fingertips to deep inside our brain and everywhere in between. And opioids do a lot of things to our body that have nothing to do with pain control. And in my experience, and I think in publications, it's clear that opioids are not well tolerated by many people. And therefore, they're not practical, not practical for people because they may not tolerate them very well or using them at doses that may be helpful from a pain relieving point of view may compromise their function in another way. Also, there are some people who have difficulty with controlling their use of certain substances. So even if one were to use an opioid in a person with, let's say, diabetic neuropathy, but that person has a known history of active substance abuse, there are different additional challenges in using a controlled substance like an opioid in that particular person because of that person's persona and behavior and overall um, composite. So it's opioid Opioids can be an extremely effective tool in the management of neuropathic pain, but like in every other area of medical care, they need to be used in the right person. And to define that right person, we need to know what that person's past history is. We need to know what the risk of using an opioid in that person would be. And we need to monitor that person very carefully. One last point is that more, more often, I think opioids, in my experience, are useful in low to moderate doses, not very high doses, but low to moderate doses in combination with other approaches as opposed to as the only treatment.